There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Alright, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry, I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiker. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Yeah. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B-game. Mm -hmm. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with, and in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened, because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context, and once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. 
take your philosophy. Here. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. There's 3D models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels, scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Lively. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh and there's years of persevering disappearing into the pile out of style out of sight In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle that lets you churn through it but not earn it Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill filed in with the brand things? When games were new, they wanted a lot from you. Daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle, some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. But that's not you, you're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. I could swallow this bat. Now I know, most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being oh, fed chewed up food. Yeah. That's culture too. But on the off chance that you're playing this, what I'm saying is, trash is disposable. No! But maybe it doesn't have to be a Fuck! What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I guess yes. you don't hate it if you got this far. Feeling frustrated? I am it's underrated. Frustrated. An orange is sweet, juicy fruit locked the inside orange, a bit of peel. That's not how I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grapefruit. It's licorice. God, I can't get that like little cheat down. No matter how many times I watch or try and do it. I really hope this isn't a flag screen, it's just my mon my uh, thing being slow. No! <laughs> I like the silence. It's a lot easier to focus. Okay. Stop it's getting louder. Stone. It's been about a month since I played. It's generally pretty easy though, so we should be good. You motherfucker! Mm, little bitch.
locked in. Whoop. Okay. Easy part down. Hard part down, actually. Come on. Am I stupid? Mm. <sighs> Whoop. Ooh, you almost messed me up there, you little bitch. You just lost a lot of progress. Oh. That's a deep frustration. Why? Real punch in the gut. Shut up, please. You're not helping. Mm. Mm. Don't you fucking dare. Don't Whoop. you fucking dare. Oh god, don't you do it. Got a monkey. Whoop. Just got a monkey. No! Oh my god. Let's look at this isn't gonna be a Whoop. quick one. Whoop. Maybe not. Whoop. No! Please, please. stand and it's oh. in like the way of my mouse. Maybe I should just move my mouse to the back. <clears throat> Not right now though. Just stay, just stay, just stay, just stay. minutes this is pretty bad unless I can get through the rest of the game in five minutes I'm not gonna be my best time it feels like we're closer now composer and climber maybe designer maybe and user body. you could have refused but you it's didn't there was something in you that was it's hidden that chose to continue mysterious man on the internet who I have a dying undying hatred for <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone will be different. Maybe I'll learn to not hate you. Maybe I'll learn to love you. No. Okay, yeah, this might be the worst part of the game, actually. Never mind. Mm. 
no. Yes, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Whoop. Easy does it. Never mind. Whoop. 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 Easy does it. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, shit. a little bit too bouncy I just whoops nope I don't get the bounciness of the hammer like you're in like a probably 200 pound Whoop. cauldron with where I like Whoop. a 200 pound man Whoop. I don't I feel like you shouldn't be this bouncy is that just me or I, do I not know, know how physics works Had to answer a little text. Oh. Okay. Okay. What? It means a lot to me that you've come this far, endured this much. Every wisecrack, every insensitivity, every setback you've forgiven me is a kingly gift that you've given me. What? Not just in this run, but in every other run I have played, about nine others. No. Eleven, because it took me three tries to beat it for the first time over the span of two years. Okay, this one we have the same taste, you and I. Oh, yeah? It's not ambition, it's ambition's opposite. Make me uncomfortable. An obdurate mission to taste defeat. You'll feel bad if you win, so I put this snake in for you. Have you thought about who you are in this? Are you the man in the pot, Diogenes? Are you his hand? Are you the top of his hammer? I think not. Where your hand moves, the hammer may not follow. Nor the man, nor the man's hand. In this year is will, his intent, the embodied resolve in his uphill ascent.
This might be the worst now, part, actually. You've conquered the ice cliff, the platforms, the church, and the rectory, oh. the living room, and the factory, the playground, the construction site, the granite rocks, and the lakeside. You've learned to hike. There's no way left to go but up, and in a moment, I'll shut up. But let me say, I'm glad you came. I'm not glad I came. <clears throat> I'm actually very sad about it. I don't know why I did this to myself. chat i think we did it i dedicate this game to you the one who came this far thank you i give it to you with all my love thank you thank you for giving this game to me with all your love i really appreciate it it means a lot to me Woo! now let's sit here and read these credits getting over it with benefati a game by benefati Featuring design, art, code, sounds, music, levels, 3D models, textures, marketing, writing, QA, and voice acting by Benefati. But also featuring 3D models, textures, music, sounds, and code by various other folks. In particular, the original sexy hiking game concept is by Tesoro. Tesoro. The sweet ray. The ray marked clouds are. I'm going down the road feeling bad. Lord, I'm going down the road feeling bad. I'm going down this road feeling this an iOS? Bad, And I ain't gonna be treated this away I'm going where the chill wind never blows Lord, I'm going where that chill wind never blows I'm going where that chill wind never blows And I ain't gonna be treated this away Um, okay, I'm not allowed to let you in here. I just wanted to do a short thing, because I know getting up in Riley, busy with ROTC stuff. I didn't want to step in a landmine or something. So, uh, yeah. Uh, 